During the 1960s and 70s, the world was on the brink of nuclear war. The Cold War between the superpowers America and the Soviet Union had been raging for years, and events such as the Cuban Missile Crisis in 1960 had only escalated the threat of real conflict. This period of time was not ideal to grow up in, but J.K. Rowling had no choice. J.K. Rowling was born on July 31, 1965 in Chipping, Sodbury, England. Her sister was born when Rowling was 23 months old. When Rowling was four, her family moved to Winterbourne, England, where she attended St. Michael's Primary School. At an early age, Rowling became fascinated with writing, and at age six wrote her first creative story, which she named Rabbit. Rowling's family moved once again when she was nine, this time to Tutchill, England. Later, she would study a bachelor's degree in French at the University of Exeter. After graduating, she would work for Amnesty International, a human rights organization in London. In 1990, Rowling had an idea that would change her life. That idea was Harry Potter. She began writing the novel that year and would finally finish Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone in 1995 and sell the manuscript to Bloomsbury and later Scholastic. Between this time, Rowling lost her husband and mother and nearly all of her funds. Rowling would later say that these events heavily influenced the Harry Potter series. For example, Dementors are creatures that appear in the Harry Potter series and have the ability to drain the happiness out of a human. After Rowling's mom died, Rowling was diagnosed with depression, which means she had no happiness. Rowling's first novel had enormous success, and the rest of the Harry Potter series followed suit, and Harry Potter became the best-selling book series in history. The series was also highly successful in the movie industry, a first film premiering in 2001 and the final film in 2011. The Harry Potter franchise had gifted J.K. Rowling with a massive amount of wealth. Forbes magazine predicts her net worth to be about $1 billion. However, Rowling uses her wealth to mainly aid the poor. She believes that the poor are vulnerable and nobody should have to struggle the way she previously did. Since you now know J.K. Rowling's life, I will share what new historicism means. Its definition is that new historicism is a theory applied to literature that suggests literature must be studied within the context of the history of the author. This means that to better understand literature, you must examine the time period it was written in and the author it was written by. For example, in Huckleberry Finn, Mark Twain calls African Americans of offensive words. This is because Mark Twain grew up in a time of racism towards blacks. I have already named a relationship for the Harry Potter series, which is that Rowling created Dementors because of her previous depression, but I will name one more example. You know that Ray Rowling had to grow up in the Cold War, a time where a nuclear bomb could flatten your city at any moment. In Harry Potter's world, an evil dark wizard could destroy Harry at any time that he wanted to. J.K. Rowling has had many ups and downs in her life, whether living in poverty or publishing Harry Potter. She is one of the greatest authors of all time and is a true inspiration.